Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Show Mott, and I have a rant today. I kind of went into it a little bit last night on our live podcast, and for those of you who jumped on with us, we thank you so much. We appreciate the support, and we're going to be doing that every week going forward, running our full podcast live so we can interact with all of the people that are supporting us. And again, we thank you for your continued support. So, and if you haven't subscribed yet or seen our channel before, please do like, subscribe, and comment, um, and hit that bell. Also, j- jump on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Come On Now Podcast or X at Come On Now Pod. Let's jump right in. Kalia Copper. Kalia Copper. Team USA wins yesterday by 14 points over Nigeria. They are up 17 with under 15 seconds to go. And Kalia Copper dribbles the ball out, takes the turnover. And what ends up happening? Nigeria's coach tells her players to go score. Remember, they're down 17 points. So they go score. They make a layup. And what does Kalia Copper do? She grabs the ball and she throws it at the Nigeria player who scored. The, the bucket came with like seven seconds left, and the, the reaction was to throw the ball at her rather than just inbound the ball and end the game. So what happens? A technical foul gets called on Copper. She shows a bad attitude in a game that they're up double digits, in a game that's over, and she throws a ball at an opposing player. Is this surprising? No. Kalia Copper has a quick trigger. She has a quick fuse. Her fuse strikes fast, strikes hard, and is just another example of the complete lack of sportsmanship that (laughs) some of these players have in in situations that just make absolutely no sense. Is this a surprise? No. Why? Because we've seen this before from Kalia Copper. Kalia Copper wanted to attack Caitlin Clark earlier this year after Caitlin Clark prevented a ball from hitting her in the head. And her teammates saw it and were like, what are you doing? She's, she, there was a ball that was going to hit you in the head, and she knocked it away from hitting you in the head. And then she goes over later, later with her fake apology and what have you. But again, an example of a quick trigger, quick fuse individual who has a serious lack of control of emotions. Last year, she was being interviewed when she was a member of the Chicago Sky asked the question about the bench and the lack of production from the bench. Clearly, the reporter was trying to get her to say what is actually going on with the bench and what seems to be the problem that they are not producing. Instead, her response was obnoxious, and I'm going to link it in the bio, um, where she says, basically, they got to score. They got to play better. Okay, duh. We know this. And she calls the report, she kind of, calls the reporter out and makes fun of him and refers to it as a stupid question when it's not a stupid question. How is asking a question about what the bench, how the bench performance can get better, a stupid question? Maybe to Kalia Copper it is, but to the most people in the world, she has to remember that people who are watching basketball are not all basketball players and people need the sport explained to them like they're children because they don't have the knowledge that is presumed that a player who is competing has. And when it comes down to the WNBA, that's a much smaller crowd of people, right? So what happens? We have another situation where quick fuse, quick triggered individuals in the WNBA overreact to bullshit, showing a complete lack of sportsmanship, showing a complete lack of etiquette. And yeah, you may say, oh, well, you know, It happens. It's part of the game. Yeah, it does. You know what I didn't see when uh, someone named Angel Reese tried to do exactly what the girl from Nigeria did, which was score in a game that was over? Absolutely nothing. Didn't see a coach say a word. Didn't see a player say a word. Didn't see anyone get upset that Angel Reese is sprinting down the floor with a seven-point lead and seven seconds left demanding the ball when the game should just be run out and the game is over to extend a double-double streak. No one said one singular word. 
And then she did it again against the New York Liberty, and they said, uh-uh, we have enough of that bullshit. You're not getting another another double-double on us on, on some bogus garbage fluffing your fluffing your stats at the end of the game. We're not doing that. As she ran down the court again, this time down 14 with less than 10 seconds to go, demanding the ball in the post, getting quadruple teamed, where she throws it back out, kicks herself back out to the corner, and is demanding the ball again because she so badly, desperately wants to hit a bucket to get herself a double-double. No one said a word. But Cheryl Reeve, after the game, says that, you know, it's not a good look. It's not proper to do what the, the girl from Nigeria did and score the basketball. Really, Cheryl Reeve? Did you have anything to say when Angel Reese did it? No, you didn't. You're fake. We know you're fake. You've proven how fake you are. Get the freaking heck out of here. It's, you didn't have a problem when Sabrina Ionescu dropped a 30-footer in the at the buzzer against, uh, was it Belgium? You had no issues with that whatsoever. Didn't matter at all that she dropped a 30-footer and then shushed the crowd in a game that was already a double-digit lead with less than 10 seconds left. And then you attribute it to, no, but that one was attributed to the point differential that's played with in FIBA. So at the end of the day, you 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 have a situation where you attribute a situation to, you know, point differential, yet Belgium needed to win their next game by 27 in order to, to change the point difference. I mean, the, the point differential was so out of whack that the fact that Sabrina Ionescu took that shot and then did what she did, utterly embarrassing, utterly embarrassing. But, of course, Cheryl Reeve had no problem with that. It's really cool. It's really cute when, it, when you do it to someone else, but you have a big problem when it's done to you in a game that was over. So, you know what? Kalia Copper, she showed her face. She is who she is. A quick triggered, quick tempered, short fused individual who lacks literal logic and 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 and, and <laughs> I don't want to say intelligence, but my God, you're really getting bugged out over a layup in a 17 point game with seven seconds left. If you are, you have bigger fish to fry and you have bigger problems. I mean, I think Kalia Copper needs to get his in therapy because that type of crap was absolutely freaking ridiculous. But that's all I got. Love to know your thoughts. Was Kalia Copper out of line? What were your thoughts of that of that end of that game? Um, because end of the day, that's just that that type of stuff is just embarrassing. Because it can't if it happen if you do it to someone else, it's okay. But when they do it to you, it's a problem. Miss me with the garbage. Let me know. When you, let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and ring that bell. Come on now.